All right, guys, I had a request from Right Said Fred 123 to have a look at some locks. Uh, I am not a collector. I think you guys know I've given away, I don't know, a couple of hundred locks in the last month or two. But what I have left, uh, you see hang, a lot of it hanging here. We got, uh, we got a, a single Yale. That's the oldest one, I think. You saw me do a video on, on that one. A bunch of Brinks shrouded. I got my Ace locks. A whole bunch of rekeyable Abuses. I don't know what I'm going to do with any of these. These are all picked. A uh, bunch of Americans that I probably will rekey then give away. Um, more Americans, more Americans. Uh, we have some big vectors. These are tough little locks. I picked these. I think you guys saw those. I got here's five of them here. Uh, this is the only stock master that I actually respect. It's a pretty pretty tough lock. A lot of spools in it. Nine one one. Uh, this is a master that I rekeyed, and I'm probably going to give that away to somebody here pretty quick. Uh, kryptonite, I got that not too long ago and picked it. Not not that tough. And then I've got a couple of uh, environmentals that, I don't know, I'm just keeping them for a while. A 103 and a 101. And then, let's see here. I got a box of targets. And you guys are going to see those again pretty soon because I had a lot of questions about did I use the appropriate caliber? So we're going to have to address that. Up here you see a bunch of best locks. Uh, a while, I don't know, a couple of years ago I kind of got into best locks. I was determined to open them all. So on the top, oops, sorry. On the top here, these are all the PKS, um, the uh, premium key system. So they all have wild keyways and security pins. And I've opened most of these, but I had never broken, uh, gotten into one uh, to control. Yesterday, Alex Ab came to visit me, and I handed him, I gave him one of these. I just, uh, he grabbed a pick and started messing around with it, and in about two or three minutes, he opened it to control. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> anyway, anyway, all these, by the way, <clears throat> I'm probably going to list these on eBay or trade them off or something. I really haven't decided. Same with these, the more bests. These are, uh, these are F keyways uh, down here. I got a bunch more. I got the D keyways. I got A keyways. I got C keyways. Again, I'm probably... I'm, I'm over my, I guess, best addiction, and so <clears throat> I've got control keys and operating keys for all of these. I'm just going to probably get rid of them uh, on eBay or something like that. I really haven't decided. Come over here. Uh, i got more of the same. These Again, these are A keyways with control and also operating keys. I'm probably going to list those or trade them off uh, over the next, I don't know, few months. These are the remainder of the American 7620s, I think it was, 7260, sorry. And I got 42 of these, and I'm slowly but surely cutting keys uh, for these, and um, either giving them away or trading them uh, as time goes on. Uh, I got some more bests here. These are these have no cores. Um, I don't know, I got about 15 of them here. I'm probably going to dump those as is, trade them off. Uh, boxes of rim cylinders, mortise cylinders, you know, everything from Ilco. I've got some sergeants here. These over here are mostly, I'm sorry, mostly no names um, or really weird names, Defiance or whatever. These are all the couples that I have left over. Not that hard of a lock, but I'm sending some of these beginning lock pickers. Uh, these are pretty easy locks, so I'm, I'm sending those out slowly but surely. In this pile, I got a whole bunch of Yales, uh, really pretty good ones, five and six pinners, and they're in pretty good shape. A lot of them are new, and then of course a lot of Schlage stuff. I got a, a bunch of these U-change cylinders that I'm messing with. They're pretty cool. I haven't had time to really exploit those too much. A bunch of Dexters and U.S. locks, etc. It's pretty much a little bit of everything here. Um, over here, this is my Kill Bill pile. These are locks that are waiting to be repicked. I've repinned all of these basically to screw myself. Um, I haven't been able to open my own locks, and maybe that's the way it should be. <laughs> this is a master that I repinned. Uh, I think it's only showing five pins. There's actually six in there, and I can't open it either. Uh, Big Vakta, it's only six pins. Uh, I have not been able to open. That's a really tough little lock. I've put many, many hours into trying to get him open. Oh, I've got some more Abuses that are pretty rough. These are um, uh, the model, I think these are 70, EC-75s. Oops, sorry, I'm not very good with the camera. 
EC75s and these are uh, dimple locks. Um, a lot of active pins inside of there. It's hard to hard to work inside of the tight warding. This is my last titanium, um, but I'm keeping it for a reason. Look at that bidding. Uh, some more Abus Model 83s. I need to rekey those uh, and basically the screw bill again. Another Abus 72. I got an ongoing project with that, so I've got to hang on to it. Got a bunch of tricircles here that I'm getting ready to make fun of. I'm kind of saving them because I've destroyed or given away all the rest of the Chinese locks. These are really all I have left. Uh, here's two interesting Chinese locks. These are both cruciform locks. And I am getting more and more into the cruciform. Uh, pretty difficult picks, both of these. I haven't managed to get into either of these just yet. Uh, I got a big Yale. I've given a few of these away in the boxes, so I decided to keep one for myself to pick. And got an old Corbin here. Just haven't got around to picking these yet. Another Corbin. All of these. This is an old Ordnance Corps, U.S. Army. It's an Eagle brand. Really tight keyway. These are just more um, American set locks. Here's a Junkun Brothers. Really old. Um, and here's a. I'm kind of holding this one back. This one is in really good shape. I don't have a key for it though, unfortunately. Uh, another little Yale. And this is a really interesting. This again. This also is, <clears throat> is an ongoing project. This is a Reese lock, and it has a detent in the bottom. And by the time you try to beat the detent by putting a piece of uh, key that I filed down, it's a really restrictive keyway. It's a real challenge, a real tough, tough little lock. Um, this is my giveaway pile. Uh, as I pick things, I generally just throw them into this box, and then when somebody calls me or emails and says, hey, I'd like to have some locks, this is usually what I send out. Everything from Ermex uh, Dimple to I got a Garrison Lock. This is that one that only has six pins. I'm going to give that away. A bunch of Americans, old Elgin, American Brinks, whatever. It's all here. I'm probably going to rekey this guy before I send him out. Pretty good lock, easy to rekey, so I'm going to take advantage of that. But let's talk about the interesting stuff. Most of that is junk. Let's talk about the good stuff that's in my real working pile. And uh, I'm going to start with this one. I just got him in eBay. Uh, it's a really old Corbin. It comes in, everything came this way. Uh, it's a six pinner and it's a master ring. I got ball bearings in it. I haven't had time to mess with him yet. I'm a little bit afraid of him because Kokomo Lock gave me this master ring and I have many, many hours invested in this one. And he gave me both keys and I cannot get into this bastard. Um, a lock called LL, never heard of it, but it's a nice, very, all stainless steel, really nice lock. It's only five pins. I got an old Yale that came off of a safety deposit box. Uh, can't get into him yet. I got a ASA Combo 6000. Uh, haven't even, I just got that uh, in the other day. Uh, another Corbin. Uh, got ball bearings. It's only five pins, but let me tell you, this is a tough little lock. I've got a whole pile, let me move this up, a whole pile of Medicos here. These are all Medicos, everything from biaxial to cam lock, five pinners, six pinners. I have the the high shear with a Medico core, of course. I have an eight, a 931, I'm sorry, 831, eight, I got an 833 and a 933 out on loan right now, but they're all Medicos. And I'm really just getting into those at Old Fast 911's Urgent. I just started today uh, by pinning this up with just two pins and I'm slowly going to learn how to do that. Um, let's see what we got here. Uh, got a multi-lock and this is one of many. Um, pin in pin. And this one by the way is interactive. So it's going to be a tough pick. I've got the Kaba 8 so in a Baldwin name on it. Um, another cam lock. This is probably an Abus. I got this from a storage unit and it's a tough little lock. Give it six pins. This is a really tough lock. I've got a lot of time invested in this one. Um, on eBay there's people that say these are easy, but they are not easy if you leave them intact. This is a two bar. There are two side bars and it's a really weird looking key. And it's key retaining. Really hard to get in uh, tension on. Key only goes in one way. Really tough lock. I got a by lock. This is from Kokomo Lock. Let me zoom out. Yeah. See if I can get this thing to focus. 
two banks of six pins each and each has a sidebar, really tough lock. Coco made it look like child's play. I probably have 20 hours invested in this and I don't even have a false set, man. I got a couple of interesting locks here. These are called duos, duo lock. They're two different styles. One is for probably a cabinet and the other is a cam lock. These are really interesting. 18, it's a wafer lock, but there are 18 wafers, 14 of them active, and the other four acting as wards. You have bidding on the top, bidding on the bottom, and then in the middle you can see there's bidding on one of, on that third side there. Really tough lock to pick. Uh, I've partially got a pick, but not entirely. I got another lock here from Alex Ab. I haven't really had a chance. To, I think it's a General Motors. Haven't had a chance to play with that too much yet. Um, in terms of Euro cylinders, let me get this over here. Oops. Um, my dream, of course, 3KS. A few people have picked these. I'm not one of them. Really tough pick, but I'm determined to do it. Dom 9. Got that in a trade not too long ago. Uh, take a look at that. Man, I sure would like to get that open someday on camera. I got a couple of Abuses. I got a six pinner. And then I got a seven pinner. Uh, these are both dimples. I haven't been able to get in there because the keyways are very restrictive. And on these high security version of the Abuses and the Euro cylinders, uh, they have a lot of active pins that in most of their locks, they're passive pins for key control. But on these, they are all active. And so yeah, that's, a, that's an uphill battle as well. In terms of uh, padlocks, I got three of these multi locks with the. It's got the MT5 Plus. Uh, I've been playing with those off and on. I have a Kiso. Uh, it's actually a Sergeant with a Kiso cylinder. Uh, it's a pretty good shape, but again, all these are active pins, I think. Try to get into that thing. Jesus. Haven't come close yet. I uh, have the obligatory Abloy. Uh, no chance of getting into that. Um, I have his brother here. It's an Abus uh, Plus. Model 89. Again, it's a it's a disc detainer lock. A lot of questions about that. That is not a Chinese lock. It's a completely different animal. So that video I made about how to open disc detainers fast, those were Chinese disc detainers. And so these are not in the same family. Much, much different. Got some more multi-locks here. Um, I have a multi-lock uh, 7x7 that I have not been able to get into and I don't know why. But I will. I'll get him. That's not. You wouldn't think it would be hard, but it is. I had this rekeyed. This is normally a seven by seven, but I had the core taken out and had an MT5 plus core put into it. Why I would treat myself like that, I don't know. But there you go. And then I guess last but not least, another multi-lock. Um, I got this just recently, so I haven't even had a chance to try to pick him. But it is, this one is pin and pin. So I'll probably start with this guy and then move up to the MT5 and then move to the MT5 Plus if I get that far. Well, anyway, fellas, there are all of my locks, I think. Some of them are garbage, some of them are in piles to be given away, and some of them are in my wish list to pick someday. So with any luck, you guys will see some of these on video uh, sometime very soon. Anyway, thanks for your time. Everybody stay safe, stay legal.